is so much makeup from Sephora. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today we have a collective makeup haul. I have all of the goodies sitting in front of me right here. Four bags of makeup total. I do work at Sephora, but none of this is gratis. None of this was gifted to me. All of these products were purchased by myself or gifted to me by friends and family. If you are interested in seeing what I picked up from Sephora, TJ Maxx, and Shoppers Drug Mart, then just keep on watching. So these first four items that I'm going to be sharing with you guys were gifted to me for Christmas from my dad. We went shopping in Toronto one day and he let me pick out a bunch of products. The first thing that I got is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm and this is in the shade Fussy. I have been wanting this one for so, so long. I love the Fenty Gloss Balm formula. I have the original Glow something and then I have the diamond milk one so I have all three full-size ones now super pretty pink color it would go really really well with the lip that I'm wearing today actually and yeah I'm so excited to have this I have been using items from this haul throughout the last couple weeks just because I couldn't not use them. They are all so beautiful. So this is the Fenty Gloss Balm in Fussy. So excited to have this in my collection. Gorgeous shade, gorgeous formula, love it. Then the next item that I picked up is the Marc Jacobs Liquid Gel Eyeliner Highliner and this is in Blacker. This is a new formula to Marc Jacobs, I believe, and I absolutely love their other eyeliner formula, their cream gel eyeliners are incredible so I decided to give this a go it is incredibly liquidy and black and I really like the way it applies thus far Bar. Eyeliner isn't something that I would normally spend a ton of money on, but because my dad was offering to gift me some products, this is a product that I've been staring at for a really long time in Sephora, and I know I like Marc Jacobs eyeliners. I've been using it for the last couple weeks. As I said, I've been using most of this stuff, and I really, really like it. So if you're looking for a good liquid liner and you have money to spend, the Marc Jacobs one is really, really good. This one is something that was more of an impulse purchase when I was in store swatching things. This is the Hourglass Shattered Light Glitter Shadow, and this is in the shade Burnish. You get a little thing to press it down and make sure that the product lasts. And then this is how the product looks. It is a insanely gorgeous gold, warm golden shade. It's more of like an amber copper gold, not like a classic yellow gold. It's more of a warm toned brown gold and it is just so stunning. I've heard amazing things about the Hourglass Scattered Light Shadows and I've never purchased one. I was looking at the Marc Jacobs version of this as well. I believe they're called like the sequin, but I was swatching these and they seemed so, so gorgeous. So I decided to pick up the shade Burnish. Can definitely see myself collecting these. I want all of them. I've been already looking online, seeing what one I want next. That is the third thing that I picked up. Then the last thing that my dad gifted me is this Sephora Collection Single Shadow. This has been on my list in my cart for such a long time. Since I started working at Sephora, I have been eyeing the Sephora single shadows, especially the metal effect and the shimmer effect ones. And this shade is just so, so gorgeous. This is the single shadow colorful metal effect in number one to the moon and back. It is just such a perfect cool toned taupe silver shimmer shadow. These together, honestly, the formula feels kind of comparable. This one is a pressed shadow, but it has such a bouncy, almost like whipped smooth texture to it. If you've never checked out the Sephora single shadows, the metal effect ones, the mattes aren't like this. They have a bunch of different finishes. This range of shadows is so, so gorgeous, especially for the price. So I definitely have my eye on a few other shades, but this is the one that I picked up first. Now the next two products that I have were actually gifted to me as well from a friend, me and my closest 
four girlfriends, there's five of us total, do a secret Santa. We've done it for the last three years. And this year, my friend Carly got me and we all kind of put in like a wish list of items. And I asked for both of these products, not really thinking that I would get them. I kind of forgot about it. And then she was my secret Santa and I got them and I'm so so happy first she got me the sephora collection hashtag lash stories lashes they're kind of falling because i wore them the other day these are my favorite favorite lashes that sephora sells um i think they're very inexpensive they were just recently on sale for like 20 percent off and then an extra 20 percent off and these are in the style pop fizz wink pop fizz wink fun name. I actually purchased like six other lashes over the holidays from this collection, but these ones were sold out when I purchased the other ones, so I didn't get these, but these are my absolute favorite lashes from Sephora, and my friend Carly picked them up for me, so love these. Very happy to have them. And then the next thing that Carly picked up for me is the Patrick Ta Lip Shine, and she's an influencer. I've been wanting this gloss since it launched. His most recent launch um, was like blushes and lip creams and lip liners and I've been looking at all of those products too but I still come back to the glosses and I've just been lusting after these glosses for so long. I honestly want all three shades that he has but this is the main shade that seemed super wearable to me in my color palette of what I like to wear. So this is just a pretty glossy pink. Again, would go really well with the lip that I'm wearing. It has a little more gold and a little more shine and reflect to it than the Fussy Gloss does. I actually haven't worn this yet. I've swatched it a few times on my hand, but I haven't worn it yet. I'm so excited to try it and like get pictures of it for my Instagram. I just think it's cute and I'm very excited to try my first Patrick Ta product. So thank you, Carly. Now I'm going to get into all of the lashes that I picked up over the holidays. I have five of them. I think I have one more that I can't find and then the ones that Carly got me that I just showed you guys, but these were on sale and Sephora lately has been doing a sale on sale so they've been doing 20% off all of the sale products so I picked these up for very very inexpensive and I got a bunch of different styles I got two of the Sephora lashes in warm wishes these ones look really pretty they're very full and like the same length throughout not too fluffy just pretty classic I like wearing lashes to work and lashes get expensive so I like to stock up so I got two of the ones in warm wishes Wishes. Then I picked up two of the lashes in Ouch. These ones are much more fluffy and long and spiky. I wore these to work the other day. That's why these ones are trimmed. Not sure if you can tell. They are super, super pretty. I like the look of these ones more than those other ones that I just showed you, but I like to have variety. And these ones are very pretty. So again, two lashes in the style Ouch. And then I picked up one lash in the style Cheers. I actually use these in my most recent recent video, Puppy Picks My Makeup. I will link it in the iCard above, but they are somewhere. I tend to just take my lashes off and then leave them there and then like clean them later and reuse them. It's a bad habit, but I don't know where these are at the moment. I will link them down below. They are kind of similar to the Warm Wishes ones, just very classic, a good lash to have. So I picked up these ones as well. Now I have three more items that I purchased from Sephora and then I will get into my Shoppers and TJ Maxx purchases. So the first thing that I got in this little shopping round at Sephora is a Marc Jacobs eyeliner, highlighter, gel eye crayon in blacker. So it's in the same shade as the liquid liner that I showed you guys earlier, but this is their gel cream formula. I have another one of these in the shade Earthquake, which is like a brownie rich brown, and it is my absolute favorite eyeliner formula ever. So I decided to pick up a black one. I don't wear eyeliner a ton on my bottom, so this will more so be for my top eyeliner when I want to like smudge it. These are so creamy and pigmented, so they smudge really easily. If you wanted to, you could do this like all over the lid and then smudge it for a smoky eye shadow look. I am just so in love with this formula. I normally wouldn't splurge on something like eyeliner, 
but I really do think that these Marc Jacobs um, gel eye crayons are worth it. I will probably continue to grow my collection of these because they are my absolute favorite formula and I'm very happy that I have a black and a rich brown color now. Then I picked up a semi repurchase. This is the Born This Way Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. If you guys don't know, this is my absolute favorite holy grail concealer. If I all my concealers disappeared and I could only purchase one, it would be this one. So I previously owned it in the shade Swan, I believe. That is the only other one I've had, but it was a little bit too dark for me, so I waited till I fully used it up, and then I used it up and purchased a new one in my correct shade. So this is in the shade Cloud. It's great for the price. It's very smoothing, high coverage, like everything I would want in a concealer. It works amazingly with my dry, sensitive, acne-prone skin. So if you're looking for a new concealer, this is the best. I included it in my top 10 of 2019. That is how good it is. Picked up one of these in my correct shade, and this will last me a long time. Then I treated myself to a new fragrance for the new year. So previous to this, I was using Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb, the Roller Ball. I also have in the past loved YSL Black Opium, uh, Gucci Guilty. That's like kind of a different style. So those are the fragrances that I've liked and used in the past just to give you like a sense of my fragrance style. And I debated repurchasing Flower Bomb because I really, really like it. So I was shopping around at work after my shift and smelling different versions of Flower Bomb because they've recreated it in different versions and I fell in love with the Flower Bomb Nectar. So I picked up the small travel size spray. I've already gone through quite a bit, you can tell. I purchased this like three weeks ago and I've already gone through that much. So I feel like a roller ball is a better investment. I feel like it lasts longer. When I have a spray, I'm more prone to just like keep spraying it. I'm not even gonna try and describe the scent, but if you know what Flower Bomb smells like, this is like a sweeter, prettier version in my opinion. So I picked up that and I'm very, very happy with it. This is so much makeup from Sephora. I'm so grateful and happy. So now let's move on to my Shoppers Drug Mart purchase and my TJ Maxx purchases. So the first two I will just show you guys are the new Maybelline Sheer Gel Cream Blushes. I will have a review up on these next Tuesday. I should be posting this video now on Thursday if all goes to plan and then these will be up next Tuesday. So I picked up the shade 15 Nude Burn and 20 Rose Flush. I have not tried these yet. I have swatched them and they look absolutely gorgeous. They look packaging wise very very similar to the Glossier Cheek Paints. That's what it reminded me of. It's in like a little acrylic style paint container. Same kind of lid, same deal as the Glossier Cloud Paints. They look absolutely gorgeous and I can't wait to test them out and make a review for you guys. And then while I was shopping around shoppers, I was looking for new stuff and I noticed this new Essence Micro Precise 1.5 milliliter waterproof slim eyebrow pencil. This is what it looks like if you want to see a full review on it comparing it to a different popular eyebrow pencil, I could definitely do that. For the price, it was like $3.99 or something. I love trying out new brow pencils, so I picked up that from Shoppers. Now I have four last products from TJ Maxx, and I picked these up in three different locations. I was browsing over the holidays, and I noticed that they had some really, really good products, so then I hit up like every one in my vicinity and went a little ham. The first thing that I picked up is such a good find. Actually, all of these I was very excited about. So this is the Bite Beauty French Press Lip Gloss, and this is in flat white. Bite is reformulating their products, all of their products, to be completely vegan. So they are getting rid of all their current inventory, reformulating, and then they're going to start selling again. So everything was on sale on Sephora, and I guess TJ Maxx buyers purchased stuff and then resold it for a cheaper price. So I got this for $6.99. It is a super, super pretty nude gloss. I feel like on camera, you can't at all tell how pretty it is, but it is stunning. Um, Samantha Ravindal in the past has raved about this formula and this shade in particular. So that is the first thing I picked up from TJ Maxx. Then the next thing that I purchased with that Bite Gloss is this 
Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Blush. This is their Luminous Finish Blush, and this one is in the shade Fox Glove. I purchased this for $14.99 Canadian, and I remember when these blushes released back in the day, I wanted one so, so badly. I thought that they were so pretty. I love the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector highlighters. I love Moonstone and Champagne Pop. So they had like four different ones and I looked up all the colors online and decided that this one was perfect for me. I love like a classic fuchsia cool toned pink. This would go really well with my look today. I might add some after I finish filming. It has a little bit of a shimmer sheen to it. It is a luminous finish which I really love and this shade is absolutely gorgeous. So when I saw it for $14.99 I no brainer decided to pick it it up. Then another blush type product that I picked up is this Bobbi Brown Highlighting Powder in Sunset Glow and this was $29.99. Still a little more expensive for TJ Maxx but Bobbi Brown is a pricey pricey brand. This is their highlighting brick highlighting powder. I will try using this as a highlight but if it doesn't work as a highlight and it's too pink which I think it might be I thought that it would make Make an absolutely gorgeous blush topper. So that is what I purchased it for. I think that for $29.99 this is a good deal. I love Bobbi Brown products and I think that this product is absolutely stunning. So I'm excited to use this either as a highlight or as a blush topper or as both. I just think it's very very pretty. So I was excited to find that. Then the last purchase that I have in this entire haul is this NARS Full Vinyl Lip Lacquer and I got this for $12.99 which I think is a really good price for a NARS lip gloss and this is in the shade at first sight. This is a clear gloss. I realized that I purchased like five glosses in this haul but I really do love lip gloss even though I'm wearing a matte today. Anyways, typically I don't buy glosses like this because I have a few already. Like if you have Fenty Diamond Milk, how many other clear sparkly glosses do you need? But because it's NARS and because it was on sale and it's just very pretty, it has more like golden shimmer in it. Whereas um, Diamond Milk has more of like a silver shimmer. It's also a much thinner gloss formula than the Fenty gloss is. I find the Fenty glosses very, very thick, which can be a good thing, but I'm not always in the mood for that. So this is a nice thinner, clear, sparkly gloss. And with that, these are all of the products that makeup products that I purchased in the last month or so. I feel so like lucky and excited and giddy to have all of these in my collection. I never like ball out on makeup like this and just really get gifted a lot at the same time and then purchase a lot. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Let me know what you guys like to see. Even though I can't afford to do hauls like this all the time, it is just fun to do them every once in a while and get your feedback. And as always, I hope that you have an absolutely awesome day and thank you so, so much for watching. Bye!